Hello there, everyone. If you're watching this video, then you are part of the TTOR army, an army that is building itself up one subscriber at a time. As you can see from the title and thumbnail of today's video today, we are going to be talking about Matt Powell. And more specifically, we're going to be analyzing a phone recording that Matt Powell left on Brett Keane's answering machine, and we're going to see two things. One, we're going to see Matt Powell lie to Brett Keane about his belief that homosexuals should be executed by the government. And two, we're going to see Matt Powell accuse Brett Keane of being an enabler of pedophiles. And with that being said, why don't we go ahead right now and listen to the first 59 seconds of the phone message that Matt Powell left to Brett Keane on January 24th, 2023. Hey, Brett. It's Matt. <clears throat> Wanted to give you a call. I, I saw your latest uh, quote-unquote video response to me and Ken Hovind. Um, I, I do want to go on record and say that, yes, the Bible does put a death penalty on a man that would have sex with another man, for example. Because if a man would have sex with another man, he would have sex with an animal, he would have sex with a child. They are dangerous. They are predators. They are pedophiles, period. And if you actually cared for people, you wouldn't put out stupid videos like the one you just put out talking about how, you know, I'm making it out like everybody in the LGBT should be executed because that's not what I've ever said. That's not what I've ever believed or even thought. I, I only believe that those who are pedophiles should be executed by the government. So, as we could hear in the first 59 seconds of his phone message to Brett Keane, Matt Powell claims that he only wants pedos to be executed by the government. He also claims that he has never said or thought that homosexuals should be executed by the government. Well, you see, the problem, Matt Powell, with you telling Brett this is that uh, that's not actually true. You are deliberately lying to Brett in that phone recording. How do I know that you're lying? Well, you see, there's this little thing called YouTube that documents the times that you've called for homosexuals to be put to death by the government. In fact, right here on screen, you can see this video from Skylar Fiction's YouTube channel. It was a live stream titled A Conversation with Matt Powell, which streamed live on May 10th, 2018. So this live stream has been out there for almost five years. And in this particular live stream, Matt Powell joined Skylar Fiction and they had a two hour conversation about a variety of topics. And it is at the 7 minute and 45 second mark of this live stream where we see Matt Powell say the following. But, uh, but yeah, you, you did pr basically pretty much describe me. I'm, I'm very radical. I mean, a lot of people ask me, you know, a lot of people tell me all the time, oh, you're so radical. I, I'm, a very, I'm a very radical Christian, very conservative. And, you know, I believe that one of the reasons that our country is actually going downhill is because the conservative Christians are actually being kicked out of the White House. You know, and the, the morals that our country are founded on and as far as homosexuality goes, you know, I, I believe the Bible puts a death penalty on it. I believe it's, I believe it's disgusting. And incidentally, every, uh, every scientific test has come back and said that homosexuals are 50 more times likely to get AIDS. Um, so, you know, we got this AIDS thing spreading and uh, AIDS.gov, CDC.gov. Mm -hmm. Get on there. It's, it's, it's a fact, uh, you know, that this, is, that this is the case. And so, you know, but incidentally, God's word just happened to get it right before this all came out. So that's that's kind of where I'm coming from. So, well, I I maybe go into those statistics in just a minute because I want to look that up actually and see if that's true. Uh, but irrelevant of that, uh, just because even if I was to grant you that, let's just grant you that for a moment that gay people are getting AIDS more, which I don't know if that's necessarily the case. Uh, that doesn't have any like, sure. Well, if even if I grant you that, like I said, I grant you that premise, and I don't believe that that's the case. Um, I would say that, so what? Why can't gay monogamous people, people who aren't having uh, sex with multiple people unprotected, uh, why don't they, shouldn't they have the right to love each other and adopt children and things like that? Now, just well, because you're gay doesn't mean that you're predetermined to have more AIDS. There's nothing about biologically being gay that makes you have more AIDS. Now, promiscuous choices, 
can make you have a higher age rate if you choose not to wear protection or you choose to have more partners without protection. Absolutely. Um, but now, do you used to mention something? You don't believe that gay people could, should be stoned to death, do you? Well, I believe the Bible puts a death penalty on it. Obviously, not by me or by anybody, you know, in, in, in our regular society. Obviously, I believe it's the government's job to, to execute criminals. And, you know, I believe that the Bible says clearly that homosexuality is a, it's a criminal crime. It's a, it's, a, it's a crime. It's one of the worst crimes ever. I, I mean, it's good that we're, we're not a one. theocracy, right? Because we're not a theocracy in this country. So you don't believe yeah, our government well, should be able to dictate uh, that we stone gay. Are you, is that what you're advocating for? Is that our government should stone gays to death? I, 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 I don't, by whatever means they execute people. And obviously I believe in humane, you know, putting to death. I think that's a but, contradiction you know, of what you're saying. Humane, you can't use the word humane and then say you're going to kill people who are gay. Right. But the thing is, I mean, whatever the whatever our government says, as far as like for a death penalty, I think should go for them. Why? No, that's, that's wait, 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 wait. So no, but you're saying you agree that that the government should create laws that um, in order to execute gay people. That's what you're telling me. Absolutely. OK. So as we could see in this clip from the 2018 live stream on Skylar Fiction's YouTube channel, Matt Powell did, in fact, want homosexuals to be executed by the government. Notice how in the phone conversation with Brett Keane, Matt says, Oh, well, I just want pedos to be executed by the government. I never have said in public, and I've never even thought of having homosexuals killed by the government, executed by the government as a punishment for them being homosexuals. And yet here we have this nearly five-year-old live stream on Skylar Fiction's channel where that's exactly what Matt Pal calls for. He says, well, the Bible says homosexuality is a crime against God, therefore our government should have a law against homosexuality and people who are homosexuals should be executed by whatever means the government says that they should be executed by. So let's get this straight, Matt Powell. You do believe that homosexuals should be executed by the government, or at least you've said that in the past for the entire world to see. If you've had a change in mind on that, please let us know and correct this uh, insight into you that we seem to have. Uh, if it's not true anymore that you think homosexuals should be executed by the government and it's just pedos that should, please make it clear in a video renounce your old views that we saw here in the Skylar Fiction interview, renounce them publicly on your own channel so that you can set the record straight. Of course, I have serious doubts that Matt Powell will actually do this because I firmly believe that he still thinks that homosexuals should be executed by the government simply for being homosexuals. Now, it is in the next little bit of his phone message to Brett Keane where we hear Matt Powell say the following. Because it is the most loving thing. You, you accuse me of being hateful, when in reality that's the most loving stance that anyone could ever take. I mean, people like you are actually what's destroying America when you go around justifying pedophiles, because that's exactly what you're doing. So, as we could see in that clip of the phone message, Matt Powell claims that people like Brett Keane are destroying America, and then he accuses Brett Keane of being a pedo enabler. Now, when I heard Matt Powell say this, I immediately started laughing my patootie off. And the reason why I started laughing my patootie off is that I've known Brett Keane for four years now, almost four years. I've known him since 2019, and I have seen him denounce pedophiles and completely, uh, you know, attack and criticize them on multiple occasions. And just to give you a small taste of what I mean by that, here on Brett Keen's YouTube channel, he has a video titled Smoky Saint, Christian Pedophile Exposed. Copy and mirror if you like. And in this 51 second video, you can see Brett Keen posting a video that somebody made where they denounce Smoky Saint, the Christian content creator for being a pedo. If Brett Keen was a pedo enabler, why would he post such a video to his YouTube channel? Then, if you go to Brett Keen's uh, old Odyssey channel that's called 
God TV radio live podcast show by Brett Keen, you'll find a video titled Kent Hovind Lied and Defended Chris Jones, a Lying Manipulative Pedophile. And this is an 18-minute video, so I'm not going to play any of it for you guys. I'll just have the link to it in the description box down below so that you can actually see this video for yourself. But just from these two videos of Brett's alone that are archived on his YouTube and Odyssey channels, we can see that Brett Keen is not a pedo enabler. Clearly he's not. He never has enabled pedos, and he never will. He's made that quite clear on his channel. And if these two videos that I just showed you on screen briefly don't prove that, then I guess nothing will, Matt. Now, it is in the next clip of the phone message that Matt Powell left for Brett Keen, where Matt Powell points out some things that are actually true, but he misuses the truth to justify his desire to see homosexuals executed by the government. Let's listen to that part now. And why would you defend an quote-unquote orientation of people that actually leads the world in child molestation? You know this. Homosexuals are 10 to 20 times more likely to molest a child than any other people group that exists, than any other orientation that exists but yet you're just going to get up there and defend them? Why would you defend a group of people, Brett, that leads the world in disease spread? These people are the problem in America, okay? So, as we saw in that particular clip, Matt Powell points out that homosexuals are far more likely than any other people group on the planet to molest children in a sexual way. And if you actually study the internet and you look at the testimonies of people who have homosexual desires or are homosexuals currently, there have been many a homosexual who have admitted to the world that they were molested as children by a homosexual man or a lesbian, and that this was basically the beginning of their development of homosexual urges. The amount of people that this has happened to is staggeringly high, frighteningly high. So Matt Powell is actually correct when he says that the homosexual group is far more likely to molest children than any other group on the planet. That is an actual fact of reality. He's also correct when he says that homosexuals are the primary drivers of sexual diseases of various kinds. In fact, in my 2014 book, Another Inconvenient Truth, What Secular America Hates, I document this fact with various statistics from the CDC, of all people, and womenshealth.gov, which is another government website. Just to give you a small taste of what Matt and I are talking about, back in 2014, the CDC pointed out that although uh, gay, bisexual, and other men who have sex with men represented 2% of the United States population. They were the population most severely affected by HIV. In fact, in 2010, gay and bisexual men accounted for 63% of the estimated new HIV infections in the United States and 78% of the infections among all newly infected men. They also pointed out in the United States in 2011 that gay and bisexual men accounted for 79% of the 38,825 estimated HIV diagnoses among all males aged 13 and older, and 62% of the 49,273 estimated diagnoses among all persons who received an HIV diagnosis that year. And when it came to AIDS in 2011, gay and bisexual men accounted for 52% of the estimated AIDS diagnoses among all adults and adolescents in the United States. And by the end of 2010, an estimated 302,148 gay and bisexual men with an AIDS diagnosis represented 48% of all deaths of persons with AIDS in the United States. And back in 2007, we saw the rise of syphilis come into effect. Syphilis was a disease that people thought had gone extinct, but because of the activity of the homosexual community, that disease came roaring back in 2007. 
The CDC actually said that homosexual men accounted for 65% of the nearly 12,000 cases of syphilis in the United States in 2007, making them the primary driver of increased syphilis rates overall. And then, according to the American Cancer Society, lesbians and bisexual women were more likely than heterosexual women to get breast cancer. And we also saw that lesbian and bisexual women, according to womenshealth.gov, were at greater risk for heart disease, and they were more likely to experience depression than heterosexual women. But if you want a more modern-day example of the homosexual community driving sexual diseases, let's talk about monkeypox for a second. I'm sure those of you watching this video may recall the summer of 2022 when there was a temporary craze about monkeypox and how we were going to have to have all new societal lockdowns like we did for COVID, but for monkeypox. But then all of a sudden, monkeypox dropped out of the news cycle and everybody stopped talking about it. Why on earth did they do that? Well, I have a pretty good idea of why they did it, and the idea came to me from an NPR article of all things. Here on the screen, we have an NPR article from July 27th, 2022, called Fauci Says Government Must Understand Profound Risk of Monkeypox to Control the Spread. And when you go to the first two paragraphs of the article, you read the following. Dr. Anthony Fauci, chief medical advisor to President Biden, told NPR's All Things Considered Tuesday that amid early transmission of monkeypox, it's important to understand the extent of the spread, how it spread, what population. He said it is a virus that medical professionals understand and one that they have available tools to use, unlike in the early months of the COVID-19 pandemic. In an interview with host Joanna Summers, Fauci said that about 99% of the cases of monkeypox have occurred in men who have sex with men. That's right, ladies and gentlemen. 99% of the monkeypox cases from the summer breakout occurred with homosexual men having sex with each other. And just how many cases are we talking about? Well, you skip down to this paragraph down here where it says, There are currently 19,188 confirmed cases of monkeypox in the current outbreak, with 3,591 cases in the U.S. according to the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention. New York had 900 of those cases, and California had the second highest concentration with 356 confirmed cases. So 99% of the 19,188 confirmed cases of monkeypox in last summer's monkeypox outbreak were found in cases of men having sex with men. In other words, the homosexual community almost exclusively was the driving force behind the monkeypox outbreak in the summer of 2022. This is why they stopped talking about it, because... What happens when you try to tell homosexuals and lesbians, oh, by the way, um, we need you guys to stop having sex until we can figure out a way to deal with monkeypox and some of these other sexual diseases that seem to be outbreaking because of you guys having sex? No, they would not accept that at all. The LGBTQ community would condemn everybody if they said that, and they would have even more sex than they were before and keep spreading these diseases and so the best thing that the establishment figured they could do when they discovered that 99% of the monkeypox cases occurred in the case of homosexual men having sex with each other, the thing they assumed to do was to just shut up about monkeypox and ignore it and pretend like it never happened. And that's why you don't hear any talk about monkeypox currently in the Western world. That's why we don't have any lockdowns for monkeypox after they briefly entertain the idea. The reason why is because monkeypox is being driven almost exclusively by homosexual men in this summer of 2022 outbreak that we had. And that's why they stopped talking about it and pretended like it didn't exist. So Matt Powell is not wrong when he says that homosexuals are the primary drivers in various sexual diseases in the country and the world. The problem is that Matt Powell then uses this to try and justify saying, well, we should just have homosexuals executed by the government. 
No, all these things that they spread through their sexual behavior, well, that's actually a good reason to evangelize to them and witness to them and preach the gospel to them and try to convert them to the biblical worldview and encourage them to submit to Jesus and enter into a personal relationship with him. We should be trying to rescue them through evangelism from a lifetime of disease that they're statistically likely going to get from engaging in homosexual behavior, especially since, in general, homosexual men and lesbian women tend to have a lot of sex partners, like 50 to 1,000 plus in some cases. Now, it is in the last clip of Matt Powell's phone message to Brett Keane where we hear Matt Powell say the following. And I'm not the one who is, I'm not the only one who's saying this. You know, people like Ben Shapiro, Matt Walsh, big names in conservatism all agree that these people many times are child molesters. I mean, you just look at the song that they put out uh, by the the bag choir, we're coming after your kids. You know, they they talk about how we're going to convert your children. We're going to, quote, unquote, make them tolerant and fair and all this nonsense. These people are after our kids. And for you to get up and defend them, Brad, that's just such a that's just such a, a terrible thing to do. I think you should retract your video. I think you should retract your statements. You probably won't. Um, but I just wanted to let you know that if you defend them, God's curse is upon you, and it won't be good in the long term. And I hope that you do repent because I don't want punishment of the Lord to be upon your life. So, as we could see in that last clip there. Matt Powell asserts that because Brett Keane disagrees with Matt Powell about homosexuals need to be executed by the government, Brett Keane is apparently on his way to hell and he is in desperate need of repentance. No, Matt, actually, I think you're the one that's in desperate need of repentance. Yes, it is true that the Bible condemns homosexuality as a crime against God. Yes, it is true that the Old Testament prescribed a death penalty on homosexuality, which the Old Testament was a covenant that was specifically for the Jews, not for the entire world. And yes, the homosexual community is the primary driver of various sexual diseases, especially monkeypox. But no, that is not a good reason to have homosexuals get executed by the government. As I explained in my recent video response to Brett Keane regarding the topic of homosexuality, 1 Corinthians chapter 6, Paul told some of the people he was writing to that they used to be homosexuals, but they weren't any longer because of the redemptive power of Jesus. So if you believe that passage, Matt, you have to believe that Jesus can actually redeem homosexual people. You have to believe that they can potentially have their homosexual desires erased and replaced with normal heterosexual desires because of the redeeming power of Jesus, that Jesus actually has the power to make that happen for that person. And so that's a great reason to give them every chance to get right with God before they die. That is not a good reason to say, yeah, they should be put to death. Or are you going to evangelize to them in their last moments before they're executed? Is that what you're planning on doing, Matt? Because unless you're going to suggest that, your blanket execution of homosexuals by the hand of the government, that just doesn't fly in light of what the New Testament says. Sure, homosexuals deserve to have their soul annihilated when they're thrown into the lake of fire, which says, which the Bible says will happen at the end of time with the great white throne judgment. But so will liars and cheaters and swindlers and adulterers. Murderers and rapists will have the same thing happen to them. There's all kinds of people who have all kinds of sins that they commit that God considers just as bad as homosexuality. Homosexuality is not this one special sin that you can just say, okay, all other people who commit other sins, we don't need to execute them. We can give them a chance to be redeemed. But oh, no, no, not homosexuals. No, they get insta-death. You're thinking from an Islamic perspective, Matt Powell. The religion of Islam teaches that homosexuals are bad and they must be executed, usually by stoning or throwing them off a rooftop. But that's Islam. 
not the biblical worldview. If you want to maintain this, well, homosexuals should be executed by the government, why don't you go convert to Islam, Matt Powell? Islam would welcome you. They would probably champion you as a former Christian turned Muslim, and they would welcome your position on homosexuals being executed by the government because when Sharia law is in effect and Muslims are running your country, the execution of homosexuals is a real thing, and apparently it's something that would make Matt Powell happy. So go ahead and convert to Islam, Matt, if you want to maintain this position of executing homosexuals simply for being homosexuals. But if you're going to call yourself a Bible-believing Christian, then you need to renounce your position of homosexuals need to be executed by the government. Well, folks, that's all I got for you. If you liked what you saw in this video, feel free to subscribe and leave your likes and comments down below and share this video around and be sure to check out my other videos as well as my channels on other websites, links to all of which you'll find in the description box below. God bless everyone.